In this video, I'm gonna give you the 10 reasons why real estate agents fail, and I'm gonna give away five copies of my newest book, List to Last, How to Survive Every Real Estate Market Crash. I want you to know that this is my life. This is real. Relationships are universal. What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So I wanna get into these 10 reasons why real estate agents fail. The real estate failure rate in the industry, wait for it, is 87%. Can you believe that? It's incredibly high. And I'm gonna tell you in this video why this is happening. And I've been selling real estate for 17 years now. I've sold over 100 properties a year for the last five years, going on six this year. And I'm sitting back and I'm observing the industry as a whole and I'm realizing why real estate agents are failing. And that's why two years ago, I started coaching real estate agents for free. And I'm, my mission is to reduce the failure rates in the real estate industry one agent at a time. And I'm doing it. Agents are messaging me all the time, telling me they were about to quit real estate until they found me somewhere, they watched a video, they listened to a podcast, and now they're implementing everything in my coaching program and they're finding success. So I wanted to do this video to share with you my top 10 reasons why real estate agents fail. And if you know why real estate agents are failing, hopefully that will prevent you from failing. Also, if you haven't signed up for the free coaching program, you can do so at zero2diamond.com. There's a 90-day action plan online course. We do live training twice a month. And also, you'll be deeply connected with me, and I answer all my DMs, all the questions, all the emails. I answer all of them. So if you need anything whatsoever, consider me your coach and reach out anytime. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna give away five copies of my book, List to Last. So let's get into these top 10 reasons why real estate agents fail. Reason number one, in my opinion, is mainstream training, mainstream real estate coaching. Okay, so here's what's happening. All right, new agents are coming into the business. Okay, they're excited. Okay, they work hard, they're dependable, they're honest. They really want to succeed in this business. They're everything that clients want a real estate agent to be. However, when they get into the business, they they start to get pulled in all kinds of different directions. Okay? And the mainstream coaching out there is teaching agents how to figure out what the client can do for the agent, okay? Mainstream training does this. It's telling you to go out there and see what you can do to find people that want to buy and sell property today, okay? If they're not motivated today, don't worry about those people. Let's find the motivated people, right? And if they're not that motivated, let's use objection handlers to try to talk them into doing a deal today, all right? So that entire situation goes like this. Ring, ring, ring. Hey, Mr. Seller. Hey, this is Ricky Carruth, Remax of Orange Beach. Are you interested in selling your property? You don't know me, right? But will you sell your property so that I can make a commission? And if you won't do that, if you're not gonna help me out by selling your property, then who do you know that might want to buy or sell something? Because I'm looking for some money here, right? I'm trying to help myself. Okay, that's the impression that you're giving. And as a new agent, you don't even realize that you're giving the wrong impression. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to do the exact opposite. Okay, instead of using the language to figure out what the seller or the client or the buyer can do for the agent, I want to reverse that and I want to, I want to teach agents how to figure out what the agent can do for the client. Okay, this is key. And this is why I'm doing what I'm doing, because I see it in the industry. And what happens is new agents come in, they learn this model, right? And they think this is the way, because this is what the mainstream training is teaching us. Okay, then they go, you know, two, three, four, five months, no sales, maybe one sale, you know, six, seven, eight months, maybe one more sale, or maybe no sales. And now their bills are piled up so high that they have no choice but to quit real estate and go back to their nine to five. And the problem is, is that they don't even realize why they lost, okay? You're giving the wrong impression of that prospect and the prospect sees it a mile away, 
They know they, they you sound like every other real estate agent and they're running away. They're running for the hills. So what I want you to do is I want you to approach prospects. I don't want you to ask them if they want to buy or sell. I want you to ask them what in the world you can do to help them. Okay, so in my coaching program, you'll find all the scripts. You'll find me making live calls, interacting with prospects and clients live, and you'll see how I do this. So definitely dive in. The second reason is, is because they're not confident. Okay, as a new agent, we're not as confident because we're up against agents who have sold hundreds and even thousands of properties. And you're thinking, how can I compete with agents who have sold so much and have so much experience, right? And they're so slick and they know everything to say. And, and all the clients want to deal with an experienced agent, not a newer agent, not an inexperienced agent. And so your confidence level just starts to drop, 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 drop. Okay. But, however, if you want to succeed, if you do not want to fail in this business, you have to build that confidence, right? You just have to have it, right? What do you base your confidence on? Well, you base it on the fact that you own who you are. If you're a new agent, you need to own it. People just want you to be confident. When they ask you how many properties you sold, they're not necessarily looking to see how many properties you sold, Right? That might be half of it, but the other half is they want to see how you answer it, what your body language is, how, what your tone is. Right? Are you scared? Are, are you owning your situation? They want to see that you own your situation and that you're going to stand up, you're going to tell the truth, and that you're going to be real. So you have to be confident. Okay, You need to base your confidence on your intent, that you're there to help people. Okay, if you're there to help people, you should be so confident, right, that they need you because you know that you're going to do the best job for them. Okay, and if they start to reject you, that is literally their loss. If a seller asks you how many properties you sold and you haven't sold any or you've sold one, you tell them, I haven't sold any properties yet. I'm brand new in the industry, but that is why you want me because I'm going to spend eight hours a day. 40 hours a week on just your deal until it gets done, right? Your deal is going to be my highest priority. And if you think one of those experienced agents that's doing 100 deals a year is going to put your deal at the very top of their priority list 100% of the time like I will, then you're sadly mistaken. So be super confident. I know there's a lot of agents out there that have accents, right? They're from different countries and they're worried about how their accent is going to is going to fly over with the prospects and, you know, if people are going to reject them just because of the accent. Listen to me. 70% of the people you talk to are either not going to like you. I don't care who you are. They're either not going to like you or they have another agent that they're going to deal with that they're loyal to. Okay? But there's going to be 20 to 30% for every single agent. I don't care if you have a bad accent, if you're brand new, if you're really old, if you're really young, if you don't sell anything, if you sell a lot, whatever the situation is, 20 to 30% of the people you talk to are going to love you, right? And regardless if they want to do a deal today or not, you need to create your relationships with those 20 to 30% of people who love you and would want to do business with you if they were ready right? They might just not be ready yet. Some of them may be ready today and most of them will be ready in the future, but you need to build your base, build your business around that 20 to 30 percent and be confident. And don't worry about that 70 percent. Reason number three that real estate agents fail is because real estate is such a process, okay? It takes so much time. There's such a large learning curve in real estate to learn how the game really works. And by the time most agents learn the game, right? Or maybe they don't even get to where they learn the game. They've already spent so much time and they're in a financial situation that they just can't succeed. They have to go back to their nine to five. So understand that real estate is a process, okay? You have to talk to a certain amount of people and filter the people out that want to do business with you, that you have great conversations with, okay? Then those that's going to take time to cultivate into a possible listing or possible showings or listing appointments or sales, Okay, and then once you get something under contract, it's going to be another two weeks, four weeks, six weeks before the closing actually happens. Okay, so real estate is a process regardless of how you slice it up. And because it's, it's a process already, right, even once you get the deal, okay, it's even, it's even harder for brand new agents who have zero momentum in the business to learn how to actually get to a deal, right, and create those relationships and do what they need to do. So understand that it's a process 
right? And you should be working as hard as you can to try to learn the process as quickly as possible before you have to quit the business. Which brings me to my fourth reason why real estate agents fail, and that's work habits. Okay, so most people, when they get their first job, it's by the hour somewhere, right? They get paid for showing up, okay? And so they're brought up in this environment where they're working, right? And they're making money based on just being somewhere, right? And they may produce, they may be a really hard worker and produce a lot. However, they don't have to produce a lot. So a lot of people don't produce as much as they could because they know they're going to get paid either way. And then when those people get into the real estate business, the transition there, it, it, it's not the same, right? You're getting paid for production, okay? So you're in this mentality that you get paid to show up. Then you go to this, this new career where you get paid on production. It doesn't matter if you're there or not. If you don't do anything, you're not going to get paid, right? And so there's a transition period for a lot of people, okay? In real estate, like I said, you have to speed this process up because the learning curve is so big, so you have to understand that you get paid for production and you need to be production oriented from day one. The fifth reason why real estate agents fail is because all the distractions in today's world. There's so many bells and whistles and notifications going off everywhere, right? And we're just going straight to those, those sounds. Wherever those sounds are, that's where we go. If our phone makes a sound, we're there, right? If our computer makes a sound, we're there. And when we're scrolling through social media, we're getting advertisements from all kinds of different companies saying, this is how you build your business. That's how you build your business. Buy these leads, buy this program. And there's so many distractions out there, including the mainstream coaches, right? And the mainstream coaches are out there trying to figure out how to get your money, right? And the people that are trying to sell you these programs are out there trying to figure out a way and put a program together to get your money right? And so it's distracting because as a new agent, you don't know which way to go. And so you have all these people telling you all these different things and it's just very confusing. So I think you should focus in on one or two or possibly three things, okay? And really focus on those three things until you get momentum in the business, right? That's why when I did the video, of how to make 100000 in your first year in real estate, I talk about the fact that you shouldn't do any heavy, heavy social media advertising and stuff like that. Yes, post. Yes, network with people on social media. But use it as kind of the second or third layer of your business. Okay? Speaking to people voice to voice should be number one. Right? Conversation is the key to all closings. Voice to voice is the reason why technology is not, will not replace real estate agents. So you have to block out all the distractions. You have to focus on those one or two or three things that you believe in your heart is going to take you to the top, which actually brings me to the sixth reason why real estate agents fail, and it's that they don't believe. They don't believe deep down inside that they can do this, right? If you believe in yourself 99.99%, right? That 0.001% that you don't believe is what's going to take you down. You have to be 100% committed, right? Caleb Maddox said that you should have no plan B, right? No plan B, no second option. We only have one option and we have to make this work and we believe in it 100%, right? So that's one of my keys to long-term success and success in general is that you have to 100% believe that you can do this. Number seven is that most real estate agents are scared, right? They fear so many things. They're scared of rejection. They're scared of sounding dumb. They're scared of you know, making cold calls. They're scared of everything. They're scared of the work. They're scared to overwhelm themselves with business, right? They're scared of contracts. They're scared of people in general. Trust me, I understand. It can be intimidating, right? But the thing is, is that there's so many agents out there succeeding at such a high level that you have to understand that you can do it too. And one thing that I want you to understand is that business is 100% unlimited. It's unlimited for every single agent, right? There's no scarcity of business. It's as much as you can handle forever. So I don't want you to be scared of losing a deal. I don't just want you to be scared of talking to this person or sounding dumb, okay? You have to go through the process. And like I said about the confidence, rest on the fact that you have the best intentions, that you're there to help people, 
right? You're not here to screw people over. You're here to help people. And because of that, that should take all the fear away. Okay, I'm here to help people. I'm going to do stuff. If I mess up, that's okay because I did it in the name of helping people. And always remember my 3-2-1 rule. If something scares you but you know you need to do it, like making calls, public speaking, whatever the case may be, you're getting out of your comfort zone, you know you have to get out of your comfort zone to grow, right, personally. And if something scares you so bad but you know you have to do it, you just say to yourself, 3-2-1 and then just do it. The eighth reason why real estate agents fail is because they are overthinking everything, right? Analysis paralysis. They're just reading a lot of stuff, they're researching, they're setting everything up, but they're not taking action. They're not actually doing the things that they need to do to succeed, right? And it drives me crazy because I see it all the time. There's over 17,000 agents in my real estate coaching program, and they reach out to me all the time asking questions, and I'm always going back and forth. And there's so many of them in the program and out there in the world that know what they need to do. They're just not doing it, okay? I would rather you not know as much and take more action than to know a lot and not take any action. So quit overthinking, get out there and do what you know you need to do. And by the way, if you know you need to do it and you're not doing it, that means that you're cutting your family short. You're not providing as much as you could for your family because you're not willing to do something that you know you need to do. And there's really no reason why you're not doing it. So in my opinion, that's about as selfish as you can be. And I know that sounds harsh, but it's real. So I want you to just do it. The ninth reason why real estate agents fail is because they're not adapting. They're not trying new things. They're not figuring out what works and what doesn't work. Okay, the name of the game of success is to adapt. The world's always changing, number one, but even if the world didn't change, you would still have to go through the process of trying new things, seeing what works and seeing what doesn't work. Now that we add a layer of the fact that the world changes all the time, that adds a whole new dimension to this. Right, So we always have to be trying new things, adapting as we go. And the way I like to look at it is, is that you, know, you try some things, you figure out what works. Okay, Say you try five things, two of them work. We keep those two in place. We keep those two going. We eliminate the other three. We try five more things. Maybe one of those things work. We add it to the two that are working. We're always keeping what works and eliminating what doesn't work, and we just continue to get better and better and better and better. But if you're just gonna do the same thing over and over and over again, expecting different results to happen, right? There is a part of this that is consistency, doing the same things over and over and over again, right? But you have to be smart about what those things are, and you have to test things and see what works and see what doesn't work, okay? So always be adapting. And the 10th, and probably the most important reason why real estate agents fail is because you're not patient. You're not patient enough. You want everything right now. And I said in the beginning, real estate is such a process, especially in the beginning, right? Even if you're experienced, it's still a process. I can't just go close a deal you know, from scratch right now and get paid on it today, right? Even if I did a deal today, it's still gonna be at least two weeks if it's a quick cash deal or 30 to 45 days if it's a financing deal, right? So it's already such a process and as a new agent with so much to learn, right? It becomes even more of a process. And so what you have to do is not to look at the results, not to look at, okay, I wanna do 30 deals my first year and then if it looks like you're gonna be you know, short on that, start to get down on yourself. No, don't do that. Base your happiness on the fact that you worked as hard as you could every single day, right, to accomplish your goals. If you don't hit your goals, okay, that's fine because you did all you could do. If you don't do all you can do and you don't hit your goals, then, then you have something to be upset about. But if you did all you could do and you didn't hit them, that's okay because we're going to try again. We're going to try again. We're going to try again. We're never going to quit, right? We're going to do this for the rest of our lives. So we don't have to do it all this year. It's a learning process. Right, so agents message me all the time and say, hey, you know, I've been in the business three months and I haven't sold anything, and they're complaining. And I, I look right in their eyes and I say, welcome to the club. It took me eight months to make my first sale, right? And now I've sold over 100 properties since 2014 as a single agent. 
So, you know, think about that for a second, okay? Put yourself in a position to win, right? Do real estate part-time for a while until you get it going. Save up a lot of money if you're gonna go just cold turkey and just try real estate full-time in the beginning. But have a plan in place and know that this is gonna be a process. Put the work in and be patient. So that's my 10 reasons why real estate agents fail. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got a lot out of it. I wanna give away five copies of my book, List to Last. All you have to do is share this video and comment below. Let me know what you think. And I'm gonna pick five winners out and I'm gonna mail you a signed copy of my book. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what in the world I can do for you. I answer every single DM on Instagram at Ricky Carruth. We'll talk to you soon.